What it do, what it do, what it do, what it do, what it do. Back at you with another one. So today I wanted to tap into this whole uh, the White Howard statement with the Jokic thing, right? So it ain't even necessarily about who better so much. It's more so what caught me off guard was people was acting like, like I'm watching our couple of Chris Buzard acting like it ain't even nothing worth talking about. I'm like, wait a minute. Hold on, you gotta you gotta put a little bit more respect on, on Prime the White Howard's name. Like, you know what I'm saying? Prime the White Howard was a problem. Like, let's not act like, you know what I mean, he didn't dominate. You know what I'm saying? Especially on the defensive end of the floor. Like he literally dominated the game from the defensive end of the floor. And I personally feel like we don't we don't give defensive players enough credit. You know what I mean? Like, we can have a player that's an all-around player, but it's pretty much a liability on the defensive end. We'll throw out the fact that they're a liability on the defensive end and just solely focus on the offensive end of the floor. Well, you got Dwight, who literally can dominate a game from the defensive end of the floor. But he going to still get you buckets. It's just not going to be as skillful as, say, a Jokic was. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't think that it was like like it's just a landslide or it's Jokic. Because if you really want to think about it, like, if you really want to not get caught up in what happened lately, if you even go back to the bubble, right, the White Howard's defense on Jokic was a strong reason why the Lakers beat Denver in the bubble. You know what I'm saying? And this is old Dwight, shell of himself, Dwight Howard. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying he locked Jokic up, but Jokic didn't have a great series due to Dwight Howard's defense. And also, it allowed, you know, they have JaVale and AD, so it allowed them to have other players roaming. But it was his physicality on Jokic that gave Jokic trouble because he couldn't get he couldn't get to his spots. He, his, 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 free, his movement wasn't as free as he used to it being. He's not used to having a fight for position like that. You know what I'm saying? He's not used to that physicality. So... You know, Dwight gave him trouble in the bubble. And this is, what, year 18, Dwight? Shell of himself, Dwight? This is not prime catching lobs at the top of the backboard, Dwight. You know what I'm saying? This is, I'm athletic in general, but relative to myself, I'm not athletic for real. Like, this, that, Dwight. Like, let's not act like he didn't have a major decline after that back injury. You know what I'm saying? He never really was the same player after to, after uh, Orlando. So, you know, let's not let's not let's not uh, let's not forget about that. You know what I mean? And another thing that you got to consider is like the white was considered for for it was for a window the best big in the league. Or arguably the best big in the league, in the league that still had bigs. You know what I'm saying? It's more impressive to be considered that when there's other big, like you had Tim Duncan, Dirk, Garnett, Chris Webber, Amari, Paul Gasol, old Shaq was still in the league. You know what I'm saying? Y'all was in the league for a minute. Like it was still bigs in the league. You know what I'm saying? She was in the league. Like it was still bigs. Chris Bosch was in like so it was a Al Jefferson. It was it was a lot of bigs still in the league. So to dominate versus other bigs is to me, especially two way line, I'm not talking about live threat bigs. I'm not talking about bigs who don't do nothing but stand there and wait on somebody to throw them alive. I'm talking about bigs that'll go give you a dub, go give you a, a 30 and 15. Them type of bigs that'll go get a bucket too. You know what I'm saying? Like, not not somebody who's just going to sit there and wait for the lob after the, after your big help, they catch a lob. Like, no, they're going to get a bucket on their own. Them type of big. Like, he played in the era with them. 
what I'm saying? The last of them. So to be considered arguably the best of them is more impressive than is you and is Embiid. And Embiid play like he's 6'5". You really the only player that play in the paint and play physical. So let's not act like this is not, you know what I'm saying, like it's just a landslide of jokers. Because honestly, in a short window, I feel like Dwight Howard was more dominant by far than Jokic was as far as controlling the game on both ends of the floor. Like, I feel like he was, because he could stop. You can't forget about the defense. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, to me, the White Howard's most, most impressive playoff series was when they beat the Cavs. You beat close to prime LeBron. You in your prime, he close to his prime. They, you took him out. That's more impressive than beating, regardless of what stage of the playoffs it is, than beating year 20 LeBron. Because that would have been, come on now. Yes, yeah, year 20 LeBron. That, that would have been a totally different series if he would have been going up against 09, 24, whatever year old LeBron with no rim protection. We already know how that's going to go. Bang out, bang out, bang out, and one, bang out. Bang out. Come here, Jokic. Come in this pick and roll. Up. First step. Bang out. Bang out. LeBron would have hunted him in that pick and roll the whole game and dunked on the help that he played up against the, 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 the LeBron James that the White Howard played up against in this series. It's been a totally different series. So, so yeah, I don't, I don't think that uh, you can just automatically throw Jokic ahead of that version of Dwight. Now, what I will say, Jokic will have a longer career at a higher level with more consistency than Dwight due to the fact that he's a more skilled player. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, once Dwight athleticism left, that was it. You know what I'm saying? He became pretty much shot blocker, live threat. You know what I'm saying? But if not to the level that he was before. You know what I'm saying? So Jokic definitely got the skill aspect of it. And he definitely going to have the longevity because he don't rely on his athleticism. But even with all of that, let's not act like Dwight didn't dominate the game, even if it was a short window. And you can't just throw Jokic ahead of him like it's not even something to have a conversation about. So, for me personally, depending upon the team, the roster, the air, and the time, and the situation, I might take that Dwight over Jokic. To be honest, you know what I'm saying? All depending. Like if it's a if we if we almost on the cusp, I might have to go with Dwight. If this gonna be a slow grind and we gotta build it out, I'll probably go with Jokic. But at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Let's not act like it's not. <laughs> It's not at least debatable. You feel me? Let's not act like the white didn't get snubbed on that top twenty on that top uh seventy five team. Come on now, you really can't name. You know he up there on the all time bigs list. He up there like I ain't know where I'm gonna put him at, but he he you gonna go, you gotta call that man name eventually. Like that man did some very impressive things in his time in Orlando. So. You know, that's all I wanted, man. I just wanted people to put a little respect. Just put a little respect on the white name. You know what I'm saying? That's all. Just, just be a little bit of a historian of the game and put a little respect on his name. You know what I'm saying? I know he got a lot of other, you know, he, he people, he, he's silly, so people think he don't, whatever, all that other stuff. It ain't basketball related, right? I don't take personal and formulate an opinion about your basketball abilities. That, that run he had in Orlando, he was one of the most, he was, he dominated the game, period. So, that's all. All right, I'm going to leave it at that. Put some respect on his name. I'm going to see y'all on the next one. Peace.